hello welcome to my kit video so i want to show you how to use this uh, Sino timer okay it has a different way of working we have the a1 a2 forget about three and four and then we have the 18 15 and then 16 terminals all right so for your wiring assuming i wanted to control a motor a motor that has two wires okay uh, what you are going to do is bring your life to A1. This is A1. You bring your life here. Okay. Then you bring your neutral to A2, which is the second one here. A2. Then you get a short wire. You loop it from A1, which is life, all the way to number 15, which is the middle one. Okay. Then you take your moto your moto has two wires so what you do is one wire from the moto will come straight to neutral which is a2 then the second wire from the moto will come to number 18 which is this one number 18 all right now let's see how to set it we have the mode button with m written on it then we have the r button and then we have the arrow pointing left arrow pointing down arrow pointing up okay so this is how we do it you can see it is locked okay there's child lock on it so that any ignorant person who tries to make changes to your settings cannot get access so to remove the lock you first remove you you first press and hold the mode button press and hold it for some minutes the lock will remove then now you can do your settings okay so assuming i wanted to control an incubator motor and the incubator motor will come on every three hours for instance okay every three hours it should come on this is how you are going to set it first of all you okay the lock is in again so i'm going to take off the lock good so first of all you press mode you see one on that means the first time it should come on i want it to be zero zero okay so you press this one the arrow pointing left you press it and then to give the chance to change it this is what you use to increase or decrease okay arrow down arrow up you used to increase or decrease then this is the one you used to select whether i want to change the hours the days okay so i want it to work 24 7 every day so all the days are selected so i won't touch it this is the minute okay this is the hour all right so i want it to start at midnight which is 24 o'clock or the same as 000 o'clock okay so that's the first one now to move to the second on the second time i want it to come on is three o'clock because i said every three hours so i'm going to press this one i will not change the minutes i'll rather change the hour so i'll increase it to three o'clock the next time i want it to come on is six o'clock so i'm going to press mode the third time i want it to come is six o'clock so you press this i'll not change the minutes i want to change the hour so now you press up 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 which is six okay now the next time I want it to come on is uh, 6 plus 3 hours, which is 9 o'clock. So I'm going to press this one. You have to press this, not the minute, the hour. Then you increase it to 9. From 9 o'clock, 3 hours later, that's um, what 12 o'clock. So I'm going to press mode. So the next, is, you have to select this one first before it will give you the chance okay then you press okay so this is what you do and then you select you do um okay let me just finish it up so 12 o'clock then i'm going to press mode again and from 12 o'clock you press this press again and then i'll take it to 15 o'clock let's see what comes 15 o'clock then the next one is press this and then press it again then press up 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 from 15 o'clock we have 18 o'clock okay then next then uh, press this and press again 
then now I'll increase it to okay this time let me use this from 18 we go to 21 o'clock okay so you end at 21 o'clock if you add three hours you get back to 24 o'clock or 00 o'clock so you end at this side okay then you press and hold uh, press and hold the mode and then you return to the main screen okay now i want when the motor comes on i want it to run for let's say one minute which is 60 seconds okay so to set that if you press the mode and the r button together okay you will see l so this is the number of seconds your motor or whatever you connect to it is allowed to turn and you can only get up to 99 seconds you can't get more than 99 seconds so if some of you want to use five seconds 10 seconds you just set it okay i want 60 seconds so i'm going to keep it at 60 okay 60 seconds when you are done you press mode and you are back this time should be should correspond to your current time so let's say in my country right now the time is 7 30 okay so what you do is you press this this is what allows you to move okay to move so this is minutes okay it's it's 7 50 7 50 rather so i'm setting it to 7 50 okay then move Seven is uh, seven p.m. is nineteen. So this is seven fifty p.m. in my country. If you press this seconds, if you want to set the seconds, you can do that. If you want to select the days, okay. Today is Saturday, so I'm leaving it on Saturday. All right. So we are when you are done with this, you just press this, and you are okay. All right. So this is a very good unit those of you have school alarms okay siren sirens for your schools you can use this to set the time at which you want the siren to sound thanks for watching bye